hello hello welcome back to my channel this is my august 10th page and all this is is um where i had cleaned my stencil off from using it in the previous page but if you did not do this you could always just take a stencil and put paint on um or even ink over it and it'll give you that i'm not going to be putting any colors or paint in the background because I actually want to utilize that. Um, so here's my plan. I had before a um, this and I believe it's from Sunshine Girl, the Dilish and Sunshine Girl, but I wanted, I had stamped out two of them and I had colored them. So I thought I would put them together like this. And actually it goes this way like that but that's not all I'm going to do because I'm actually going to attach them to a tag with a mini brad I'm going to take my craft pick and see where they join together and poke a hole somewhere in the middle there, just like so. Take my little bitty brad and put it in there in that little bitty hole that I made. Like that. And then this, all we're gonna do Let's put that through the big hole. And then close it up in the back. Just like that. So the intention is, when it's together, it's gonna look like one whole solid piece, but then you can take and pull these all open And you can write in here and people will be able to read whatever you wrote inside of there. And they just close back. However you want them to. The next step that we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my side borders on. Well, at least the top, the bottom, and this side I'm gonna do last because of what I need to do with this piece. Okay, now we are at this stage, and this is where it's not finished. I still have the other border piece to put on. However, this is where I'm gonna go in and start making me some lines and across here. So what I have to do, because I know that I wanna make a couple of them to be at least this wide, and they don't have to be super small by any means. My plan is, let me see, I'm gonna see where this is gonna stick down at, so I'll open this up as wide as I can for the moment. I guess I need to know how high, huh? So put it to where about where I want it to stick down. Probably about there, somewhere in that vicinity. Then I'm gonna open this up 
going to take this particular piece that I made here and I'm just going to hold it across there roughly lining it up here and here and over here to make it somewhat straight then I'm going to take my pencil and make me a mark well actually I could probably just trace it out really quick and then I'm going to move it down to my next line I might actually just move it down here so so I'll make another one in the middle there Just like that it's just a rough estimate so that way i can try and make it about the same width as that so it looks like it's going to blend in so i think i might put another one in between here and here that dry up for a minute and I'm going to put these on here so I'm going to cut them in half first and because I want them to be a tuck spot for the tag, I'm just going to put tape on either side, double sided tape here and here, but I need to first mark how far over I need to put the tape. So, let me close it up. This sounds a bit more complicated than what it actually is. <laughs> Let's see, that's going to go right around in there somewhere. Yes, so let's move these up here. I'm going to lay this one down here, just like that. I'm going to hold it in place right there and pick it up. Take my pencil and mark either side of it right there and right here and then all I have to do is take this one let me make sure that it's going up the same way yes flip it over and mark either side of that line them up because they should be about the same length and go there and there so now I know I just need to put tape on the outsides here Now I'll finish doing it in my zigzags, but how I'm going to do that is I'm going to turn my book this way, I'm going to get these out of the way, and I'm just going to keep going in line with that. So if this one goes down, I'm going to start going up.
this out. And I'm going to go ahead and outline over these. take my same colors that I used, which the top is bubblegum pink and the bottom is squeezed orange, and I'm going to color those in really, really quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Now, what I need to do is Go ahead and put my other border on. Get all these out of the way. Right here. Do that really, really quick. Now, take your tag, tuck it in, because just like that, it looks like just a regular page, but there's a hidden spot to tuck in your tag. Just like so. And then what I want it to do, and this is kind of silly, but because this looks blank to me and very empty, I just have this gnome. He's gonna go there. And then this is the silliest part. This set of um, mushrooms or whatever from Doodle Blooms. They're gonna go right here next to him. And have this little stocking cap that I took off one of the um, other gnomes. And for the life of me, I cannot remember what the uh, stamp set is called, so I'd have to look. And I'll put it down in the description. I have that. And this is actually a little hat from the, I think it's the, to the Man About Town or the Night of the Races or something like that. I would have to look for sure. But this is the Dilutions and it's actually a hat. However, when I looked at it and I turned it upside down, it looks kind of like a little nose and a mouth, the chin area. So, we're gonna put this right there, like that and create a little person out of this particular mushroom. And what I'm gonna do then is I'm just gonna color them up really, really quick and I'll get back to you.
Okay. Okay, so I have all my images colored up. I'm gonna peel the double-sided tape off and get them stuck down, and then I will outline them with my black paint pen, and then I'll be right back to you. So this is where we're at. Um, it's kind of an odd page, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I had had this plan in my head for a while to do this. Um, a removable hidden tag or whatnot. But as it stands, I have loads of room to write here. As well as on the tag. Or I could even put a picture on or whatnot. And again, I didn't want to put nothing over it because this just adds to the hidden effect of it when I have it closed. I'll show ya. I mean, unless you're really, really, really looking, you can't really tell that it's there. So I'm not even going to put a border on. I'm just going to write on the tag and back there. But that's it, guys. That is my um, August 10th page. I hope in some way you find some kind of inspiration from it. Again, it's got a little bit of a technique in that I've been thinking about for a while. But yeah, that's it. And if you like the video, please give it a like. I thank you so, so, so very much for watching. And until the next time, I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.